Hey guys, welcome back to our homestead. Today, I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to make your own homemade laundry soap. Come on. To make your own laundry soap, you'll need a cheese grater, a whisk, one seven ounce bar of laundry soap, and a bucket that will hold at least three gallons of liquid. You're going to start by grating your bar of soap Fill your bucket or tote with two and a half gallons of warm water. And then add your grated soap to your bucket. Whisk your grated soap until it's dissolved. And that's it, your soap's complete. At this point you can cap it and leave it overnight. Or you can add extras, like essential oils, orange oil, lemon oil, and eucalyptus are great additions. You can also add washing soda for a little extra boost. Usually one cup of washing soda per two and a half gallons of concentrate. All right, it's been 24 hours since I made the laundry soap and it's gelled. So at this point what I do is I open up the lid on my bucket and I whisk it. Get that gel incorporated and that's your concentrate. It's not your laundry soap. So I've made two and a half gallons of concentrate and I'm going to match that with two and a half gallons of water. Now you can get a bigger bucket or a bigger tote or container as long as it has a snap on lid and you can make everything all in one bucket. You can do the concentrate, let it gel, whisk it, and then you can add your water. I personally don't like to keep a tote or a storage container that size just for laundry soap because it takes up extra space and I'm all about minimizing. I find it easier to make the concentrate in the bucket and then just fill my saved laundry jugs halfway each with my concentrate. And then I just fill the other half of the jug up with my tap water. And then the jugs are filled and they're good to use, ready to grab whenever I need them. And then once my bucket is empty, what I typically do is I will make another batch of concentrate. So my jugs are filled, the soap is made, it's ready to use, and then my bucket gets filled up again with concentrate. The great thing about this laundry soap is that as long as you let it sit for a minimum of 24 hours, it's good to go. And you can let that sit for as long as you want. So while I'm using my four to five laundry jugs that I've just made, the concentrate is gelling for when I need to make more. So then when the laundry jugs empty, I simply open my bucket of concentrate and I do the same process. I fill the jugs back up and there's usually no break in my laundry soap. I usually don't ever run out. Now I keep my laundry soap bars on hand in bulk. They stay stocked in my laundry room. I have probably 20 currently and I will buy more even before I run out. That way I'm never without. With that said, the holidays got me busy and I ran out. And so that's why I'm doing this video, to show you guys how easy it is to make laundry soap and how cost effective it is. One of these bars of soap is a dollar. A dollar in my area might not be a dollar in your area, but within one to three dollars per bar to make five gallons of soap is pretty good. Because at the store, one jug of laundry soap typically runs between seven and nine dollars for the cheapest that I've ever found 
and that's too expensive. For as much laundry as we do for 12 people, we could not afford to do laundry if I didn't make my own soap. So today I'm gonna to show you what it looks like after it has gelled and what to do after. So here's my laundry bucket. The lid snaps off. Now this is just a three gallon minnow bucket. I bought this four years ago for $10. See now this is pretty thick. It's not thin or watery. Sometimes if you let it sit too long, the top will be super, super hard to break through. But this has sat just under 24 hours. Had I let it sit longer, even like just 30 hours, it would have been really hard to break through. So this is whisked and this is the concentrate. And now I will funnel this soap into these jugs about halfway. And then I will simply fill the other half with water, give it a good shake, and then they're ready to use. You can use a bigger, a bigger tote or bucket, and you can fill the other half of your concentrated bucket with your water and simply use from the storage tote that you choose. This is just what works for me. So I hope this video helped you see how easy it is to make your own soap. After the year that we all had and how stuck we all felt when the store shelves were empty and we couldn't find basic necessities, I was so grateful that I had already been making our soap for close to 10 years in that I knew what to do and I did not want anybody else to feel as stuck as some of the people that I knew that were without because they didn't know what to do when the store shelves went empty. This is a great way to stock up on soap and just make it yourself as you run out. A lot of people think that it's super hard to make um, your own things like this and that it's time consuming. A lot of people say, oh, I wish I had time to do what you do. I wish I had time to make my own soap. And as you can see, it really is just a few minutes on two separate days. It doesn't take long at all. If you have any questions about this soap or anything else, please leave a comment below and I will be happy to help you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the subscribe button, giving this video a like, and leave a comment and say hello. It's nice to know that you stopped by. We'll see you on the next video.